much smaller than system size, um, in a way implies high density. Mm. And at high density, you solve hydrodynamic equations. On the contrast, transport doesn't like high density because for transport applicability, the mean prepath has to be larger than Compton wavelength. Uh, so transport prefers low density region, which means that um, in this case of the hybrid approach where hydrodynamics is at high density and transport is at low density, everything as it is at, is at its region of applicability. This is good. Um, only the transformation is a bit complicated, but that's another issue. So, okay, once again, we are talking about the last stage of the collision, which is hadronic transport approach. I don't know if you see my uh, mouse pointer, but here it is on the right. Let's look in more detail into the transport approach. Transport is a rather, rather simple thing conceptually. You just have a set of particles with their coordinates and momenta. Particles can propagate, collide, and decay. And that's it in principle. But then the devil is in the details. Uh, because the question is what particles, how exactly they propagate, how they collide, and how they decay. So let's go and look into it in slightly more details. Um, before that, I just want to mention in general where hadronic transport is useful. It is not only just component of Jetscape. It can be used, first of all, for some standalone simulations, and it really makes sense to simulate heavy ion collisions at relatively low energies with just pure transport approach. So at really low energies, you don't necessarily need hydrodynamics. I think this is important to point out, especially for people who are used to LHC and RIG, that at lower energies, you might not necessarily need hydrodynamics and you can model everything with the transport approach. Then um, some transport approaches actually come with the partonic part, and then you can do full simulations at any energies without hydrodynamics. On the other hand, at higher energies, um, let's say I'm approximately making this around 20 GeV, uh, then it, it makes sense to use hadronic afterburner with hydrodynamics. First hydrodynamics, then afterburner. Uh, and there are also fancier ways to apply hadronic transport. Sometimes people simulate electron ion or neutrino ion collisions with hadronic transport. And sometimes you need them for cosmic ray simulations. Then, um, now when you have a general idea of what transport is doing in the jetscape, it is the last hadronic stage. Um, I would like to discuss some theoretical foundations behind the transport. Um, conceptually, most of the transport codes um, rely on Vlasov and Boltzmann equations. Uh, sometimes, not, not all transport people will, will agree with me on this because sometimes people say we, we are doing cardinal bain equations, for example, but if you simplify cardinal bain equations after some approximations, they will still become Vlasov and Boltzmann equations. Uh, so the, I, I want to stop here and ask you a question. Have you actually heard about Vlasov and Boltzmann equations before, maybe on your lectures or in conferences? Please press yes and no. And if you have heard about them, then write one or two random facts in the chat. And again, you have 60 seconds to think and only then press enter, just not to interfere between different people. All right, I cleared the poll and we're seeing the no's rack up faster than the yeses. That's probably because the people who know that they don't know can answer very quickly. That's good. That's good. So again, I'm happy that there are no's because then it means this lecture is not useless. It's there are some so, people that don't know about Plasma and Boltzmann equations. It's about 22 to 35. So I think mm -hmm. there's more no's than yeses. It's about maybe 40 to six. Well, the no's are, are winning faster now. <laughs> What about the random facts? Okay, like you see no random facts appearing yet. Okay, you still have twenty seconds to to think of random facts, because I I hear some people typing already. You are confusing yep. other people. Yeah, now we're getting random facts. Okay. 